Guys, today is the 14th of February 2020 and it's 43 minutes past 2 in the afternoon over here in the UK. COVID-19 shares 80% of its genome with SARS. COVID-19 is the name of this coronavirus that is going around at the moment and it's something I find interesting because last year in June of 2019 I put up a video where I believed that I had partially decoded some of the tap dancing that the George Bush character does in the iPad Go 2 video. A lot of people believed that was Morse code and after hearing it from people for a while I decided okay I will try my best to decipher what I think it might be and the word I came up with was SARS. It was very random, um, there was no reason for me to be thinking about SARS at that time it's just what came out. I could decipher maybe a few letters after that which may, led me to think of Australia and the United States so I'm still going to be keeping an eye out for events happening there maybe things really get out of control in those two countries or one of those two countries um, but this is the video that I published last year watch out for SARS in 2019 obviously now we're in 2020 and it's not exactly SARS we're looking out for um, but as it says in that report, SARS um, belongs to the coronavirus family and that is shared with COVID-19 which shares 80% of its genome with SARS and one of the things I mentioned in the video description um, down here when I published the video oh, let's go back, sorry sorry about that um, it has similar It says I could decipher only a few letters from the tap Morse code, but the four letters that came out one after the other spelt the word SARS. SARS is a respiratory virus which mimics the flu, often misdiagnosed but can be fatal, especially if it has been weaponized. We have yet to hear of any sort of SARS epidemics in 2019 beyond the lookout, and the reason I said that is because there hadn't been any SARS epidemics since 2003. So I don't know if this is all just a coincidence but I find it interesting at the very least um, obviously many of the things that we were looking out for to take place within a certain timeline haven't taken place but that doesn't mean there isn't a potential for them to still go ahead um, which makes looking back at the history of the videos that I've made um, quite interesting um, in recent days I made a lot of those videos private because I wanted to focus my channel on just a couple of dates where I thought you know maybe in this year or in other years those dates may be significant with the events that we've been looking out for um, however you know considering this video was one of the videos that I'd made private I thought there's a lot of other videos that I've made where you know the dates may be wrong but the information and the events interpreted in them could actually be um, correct or you know quite close to what we've been looking out for so they are all public again and um, I think you know the date thing is still very interesting I try and I'm, you know I'm trying my best to stay away from it and just to you know talk about how potentially this could be connected um, to previous interpretations rather than making new ones so that's that's kind of where I am at the moment um, on my channel I have posted one of the videos um, with a date that I think may be significant this year um, I'm not going to talk about it in this video but if you're interested you can go on my channel and you'll see I've made it the main video so you'll be able to watch it or at least see which date I'm talking about um, and that's coming up in a few months time so I don't intend to make any videos with date references but as I say you know if more things start unfolding and it looks like there may be a need to warn of a specific date then you know I may be called to do that but as of now this is just an update just to say you know this SARS thing may be connected with this coronavirus thing um, which is actually COVID-19 so we'll see you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and may the Heavenly Father bless you.